Hi guys, welcome to Neema's Tips and Tricks. During this Easter time, I'm here with a frozen recipe for you. This is a very simple recipe which you can make it at home. So, without wasting any time, shall we start? Here, I've taken a cup of lukewarm milk. Now into it, I'm adding quarter cup of powdered sugar and three teaspoon of yeast. One, two, and three. Mix well. and leave it for 10 minutes after 10 minutes this is how it looks yeast has been well activated now let's get ready with the batter for this I've taken two and a half cup of all-purpose flour or maida now to this I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt and two tablespoon of wedge oil. You can use any wedge oil. One and two. Mix well. Now, for more flavor, I'm going to add two tablespoons of milk powder. One and two. Next is to add in our activated yeast. So I'm just going to pour it in. And give it a good mix. Mix it very well. Now let's start using our hands. We can sprinkle some flour and then mix it very well. Our dough is now ready. Now let's apply some oil to this bowl. And we can place our dough inside this bowl. And now let's wrap it up with a plastic wrapper. Wrap it up. Now 
Now, let's leave this aside for 2 hours. Our dough looks so good after 2 hours of resting. See? Now, let's drop this onto our countertop. Further, let's roll it. And cut it into equal portions. Now let's make small balls each and just roll it in. You can uh, sprinkle some flour and just roll it in. Now let's roll it in. Let's place this on a plate. Now, let's spread some butter on top. For this, we may be requiring about 70 grams of butter and that too in room temperature. So, I'm just going to apply some butter. and spread it everywhere. Further, let's roll the remaining balls. I'm just going to layer it up like this. And same way, spread the butter.
same way let's do with the rest of the balls and this is our last ball to roll so just roll it up let's now keep it on top of a layer there is no need of applying any butter on top now using a plastic wrap let's cover it up and leave it in the refrigerator for 2 hours our butter would be set by then After 2 hours I've taken this from the refrigerator. Now let's see how it looks. And here I'm having some melted chocolate. This I'll be using for the filling. Let's sprinkle some flour on a counter top. and let's place it i'm applying some more powder and now using a roller let's roll in like this make sure to sprinkle flour in between so that it will help the roller to move on I'm just applying some more flour. Here you don't have to make it much thin. See like this. Now let's cut this into triangles. Further, give a cut on one side of each triangle, like this. Now, I'm going to put the chocolate, melted chocolate, inside for the filling, and then roll it like this. The end should be pressed in The end should be pressed in like this See like this press it and then roll it and take the end portion again and then press it gently see our crochet looks like this same way we can do with the rest of our triangles see i'm cutting it again
Our croissants are ready after 20 minutes. Let's preheat the oven at 180 degree. Now to apply on top, I've taken an egg yolk. Now I'm just going to brush it in. Our croissants are now ready for baking. So I'm going to bake it for 20 minutes. Our croissants are now all set to serve and this is how it looks. If you like this video, please like and share with your friends. Same time, if you have not yet subscribed to Nima's Kitchen, then please subscribe and support me. Thank you and Happy Easter to all of you.